There are new calls this morning to fire the head of the Office of Personal Management. This follows a report revealing the recent hack on government computers is even worse than first thought. Personal information of 22 million people may be in the hands of hackers. Major Garrett is at the White House. Major, good morning. Good morning. Plenty of Republicans have called for the firing of Catherine Archuleta, the head of the Office of Personnel Management. What tends to attract the attention of this White House is when prominent Democrats do the same. One has. Senator Mark Warner of Virginia, other top Democrats call the data breach unacceptable and devastating. The numbers speak for themselves. The Social Security numbers of 19.7 million Americans subjected to federal background checks as a condition of employment are now in the hands of hackers. Another 1.8 million Americans had their social security numbers stolen simply because they were listed as family members or friends of those applicants. Chinese hackers are the chief suspects. The Obama administration has not blamed China or anyone else. There's a huge counterintelligence risk. The Chinese will use this to spy on us. This gives them an immense intelligence advantage. The security breach also yielded home addresses, education and employment history, mental health, criminal and financial records. And investigators said hackers stole more than one million fingerprints. They'll find a million ways to use this and none of them will be good for the U.S. Colorado Republican Senator Cory Gardner said he is tired of waiting for the administration to name names. If the administration knows who did this, if they're certain, then they ought to talk about it. Are you certain? We have been told with some level of, of uh, understanding from the White House. In the meantime, millions of Americans have received letters like this, notifying them their data are at risk and referring them to a government-contracted credit monitoring agency. There is no evidence, the government says, hackers have exploited the data for identity theft or other financial crimes. Intelligence experts told us that this data, if used by a hostile government, could create spies that would be harder for the U.S. to detect, pressure some Americans to become spies, or intimidate Americans to stop doing activities that hostile government opposes. Anthony? Major Garrett at the White House. Thank you, Major.